Okay, so for our lesson today, all we're going to do is play the time on time on a game, a game called hopscotch. Most of your parents would know about this this game. I'm out on the road because my driveway is not very good for showing this, but you can only come on the road if you have a parent with you or an adult with you. Far better to find someone somewhere around your house that you can play hopscotch. So you'll need something like a path that you can draw on, or if you've got your mum and dad's got one of these that they can use, not you, you might be able to draw it on the ground. But the main thing you need is chalk. If you've got some chalk, you can draw your hopscotch field like you might see at school down here. Now when you draw your hopscotch field or, or pathway, I've got seven squares. I've got one, two, three, and then I've got three squares, four, five, six, and one at the top. So it sort of looks like a bit of a cross. You can do that with some paint. As I said, you might already have the markings on a path. If you've got a rock, you can even scratch it on. I had to go up the street and get some chalk, as I said. The only other thing you will need to play your hopscotch is, and I know you'll all be able to get this, is a stone or a little, little pebble or rock about that size, or actually, you can find lots of things. There's something you can throw, but that is not a round shape. Something that's going to sit on the ground. So here's how we play hopscotch. And here's how want, oh, you can play on your own, or you can play with your brother, sister, mum, dad, any number of people can play hopscotch, okay? So here's how you'll play it. You take the stone and you throw it into square one. If it doesn't land in square one, you have to go and try again or if you've got more than one person and it's their go. And simply, you have to jump over square one and land in the next square on one foot. You can't jump in the square with the stone. So here's an example. You've got to go all the way up the cross, turn around, pick up your stone and come back. Then you'll try and throw the stone in square two, three, four, and so on. So here we go. Over number one, onto one foot, one foot. Okay, you've got to jump all these on one foot one, two, three, sideways, and turn around, and come back. And over your stone. Okay, and then you keep going. I've got to throw into number two. Now I've got to go into number one first, jump over number two, and back. Now a variation on this is where it's got number four, five, and six, you can land on two feet of the two numbers that are together. So this time I'll land on two feet. I'm like, I don't care how you play it, as long as you're mixing it up. So now I'm going to go into square one, over square two into three. Now I might go four, five, one foot to six, seven, back on two feet here, one foot, one foot, you can change feet up and over. And you keep going up number seven, and try and get back. As it gets further, it's harder to throw the stone in the square. But I don't care how you change it around, I don't care what rules you play by, as long as you're mixing your takeoffs and landings, trying to get up and down in a game of hot scotch. Try and get mum and dad playing, try and get your brother and sister playing. Real simple one to play around the home. So you need just squares, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven at the top. And you can change that, it's up to you. You can make harder ones, you might make double squares here. It's up to you, you can change it around however you like. Post a video or picture of you playing hopscotch to seesaw. See you next week guys. Hi Preps the Twos, I'm just sitting here at my computer putting your lesson together and my video using some software to put it together and I realised I made a big mistake and your parents wouldn't be too be happy with me and I said use the paint to draw on the ground, please don't use the paint to draw on the ground, this is special paint that you can draw on the grass if your parents have it but don't you go getting paint and try drawing on the ground because they wouldn't be too be happy with me, your parents and I think I went and bought some chalk but there's lots of things you can write with on a hard surface. When I was younger, we even used to use a rock and scratch it on the concrete. But yep, no paint on the ground. Only if your parents are around, they could use this type of paint on grass. It's a special paint. Thanks, parents, before you lynch me.